today I'm uh, back in the Peak District and I'm at a place called Lumsden and I've not been in here before. I did visit uh, a while back but only a sort of passing thing. Um, so I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I'm going to follow what I think are some actual public footpaths. There's a, a river of some sort or whatever running to the left of me and that's a pretty good indication that I'm going the right way given that what we're going to do today is photograph crumbling old mills and water features. Yay! Now I apologise for the lighting being pretty bad but it, it's actually it's not even sunrise yet so I'm lucky to get this and I'm also in a wooded area so even less light but it uh, looks quite nice it's really still um, liking it so far whether there's going to be photography don't know but fingers crossed that brook uh, appears to be collected here in this this pond I'm guessing it's a kind of holding area for the water so they can control it down into the mills as was interesting possibly a shot there but I don't know not right now not with the light as it is starting to rain a little bit as well uh, the weather's going to be odd today it's definitely a bit colder than it's been there's a little bit of a haze around the place a sort of threat of mist might even snow what have we got over here Ooh, another big big bit of water gorgeous look it's like glass this morning do you know i may have to get a shot i'm just looking at that building across there with the light on I have to be quick kind of interesting light i saw really is oddly enough because it's getting brighter it's uh, not not really doing it for me now. I could wait for the sun come up, but I'm not going to. It must be pretty nice to own a, a place out here. But, uh, and you also got knobheads like me wandering around taking photographs. So rough with the smooth, I guess. Not really sure this shot's going to work. But I'm going to give it a go. So this, this one might not show up. I don't know. Again, show the failures as, as well as the successes. But there's a bit of character to that, to that building. It's lovely reflection. A bit of mist rising at the back there. You won't see that. But it's, it's got a feeling. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a premonition of something being good. But... Uh, and now I'm not so sure. There's also some reeds in the far corner, which could be interesting. But I don't want to spend too long here. I want to get down to the, down to the actual mills. So I'm just going to quickly knock these out. I'm not going to go through all the bits. Uh, I'll put them up if they're any good. And if they're not, I'll put them up and say why they're not very good. And, and we'll move on. Okay, let's start with the shot. Pretty straightforward. Going to shoot just a bit of an angle to it. Um, about a one second exposure. So we've got beautiful, beautiful silky streams coming down. Um, I think any longer wouldn't be necessary because it's quite powerful. But I'm quite interested in catching the shelf, the way it falls off the shelves, that, that cascade there. Uh, so I am going to mess around with shorter exposures just to try and try and keep the idea of that flow and uh, it's it it's gonna look nice it's gonna be a, a nice waterfall shot this put it up now
just a quick note on the dreaded ISO because it's dark down here and as you can see the, the sun's only just rising I have had to raise the ISO I've gone up to 400, 400 fine I don't like doing it but that's the payoff if I want to shoot this early I, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to give on the quality a little bit so maybe when I come back up I'll shoot it again and, and obviously get different lighting at the time and won't need to raise that ISO and I can get an absolutely you know beautiful noise free image this is a really nice walk um, you know photography or not it's just really nice you can uh, see all this history around your courses these the brick buildings lining the lane um, you know evidence of when this used to be a kind of industrial hub it's really quite fascinating I, I think one day when I, maybe I'm not so focused on trying to get these images I'll, I'll come and take a proper walk around and just soak it up really nice the actual like mills that are run by the conservation people they aren't open till about 10 I don't know what time it is now but it's not 10 so I'm just going to wander up and down the lane and uh, see where else there is I, I've got a suspicion I've completed, <laughs> completed the main waterfalls but I'm, I'm fairly certain that I saw some photographs on like Instagram or something where they've been able to get shots with the water running by some of the old buildings I, I'd like to get that I must admit so I'm going to you know, keep having a wander well as lovely as this is to the naked eye I'm not getting a picture I'm not getting a composition um, I don't know why it just feels a bit empty I don't know if that's the right word it, I think without something framing it or something to set this against or set something against it uh, I'm, I'm not getting that great composition that I'm looking for don't get me wrong I'll take some photographs these are fantastic for Instagram and that sort of thing but uh, no unless something happens very exciting in the next five minutes I'm going to walk back up and continue continue my uh, walk but this is beautiful so there's that and normally I'd be quite brave and I'd, uh, I'd actually go down to the slippy bits but I'm not sure that's going to produce the results uh, even if I don't fall to my death or lose my equipment instead I'm going to continue down the bottom and, and just take another look at it maybe with the 7200 I, I, I think it's a case of angles that's where the problem is well I'm done with this now I didn't get where I wanted I think I've got some good shots but I didn't get what I wanted so there's that uh, it's still quite early the light is not good might have a, just a, a drive around the peak see if I see anything worth jumping out of the car for if I don't I'll do a wrap up in a second let's see well that's the day done I didn't get any more shots uh, over at Lumsden but I've come up to the Roaches to get some drone footage so uh, my boy's up there right now doing a hyperlapse uh, the weather is shocking which I'm pleased about because I told everyone it would be and I was starting to feel sheepish when I was there without a jacket on but it's been absolutely wonderful today I hope you've enjoyed the few shots that I did at Lumsden and again it's one of those places that I think with different weather conditions is going to be amazing but um, there's going to be a lot of that, I think, over the next couple of months where I'm really doing uh, sort of uh, reconnaissance missions on places to shoot. But do stick with it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like the places that I'm going to. As usual, like, share, subscribe, because that helps me a lot. And I look forward to seeing you for the next one. Bye for now.